Hello, I'm Steve Hoyle, the author of Real Account Planning, and in this short video tutorial, I'd just like to go into a little bit more detail around goals and objectives. So as a great Real Account Manager employing great Real Account Planning, once you've analysed the situation, done your situation analysis, been very honest about the state of the relationship today, the next thing that you want to do is to look into the future, for you to take that journey into the future ahead of anybody else. And that's where we employ goals and objectives. And uh, goals and objectives do two slightly different things. The goal statement is going to give us a sense of direction. It's going to be memorable. It's going to be inspiring. It's what, what you could put on the t-shirt or what you could put on a plaque on the wall. But it's it'll be memorable and something that we can, we can debate but gives everybody involved that sense of direction. Objectives, on the other hand, may not be so memorable but will give us an absolute sense of clarity so we know exactly what it is that we're trying to achieve over those timescales. Many people find the concept of SMART objectives to be very useful in this, uh, in this respect. So objectives are going to be very specific, they're going to be measurable, no subjectivity, they're going to be achievable, setting ourselves goals and objectives which aren't achievable is just a complete waste of everybody's time. Uh, the objectives themselves will also be relevant to the long-term goal and timed. So, for example, maybe you're managing an account where you've got some good traction today, but there's lots of opportunity for growth in the future. Your goal statement is going to be a set of words which might talk about going from supplier to partner, might talk about being a trusted partner, a dominant partner, uh, having relevance to the account, those kind of things, which will give you that sense of direction and uh, excitement for everybody in the team. Objectives, on the other hand, may not be so memorable, but will give that precision. They will say things like, this means we'll get 17.1 million of revenue over the next 12 months, at a gross margin of 22.5%, with a cost of sale of less than 8%, uh, with two strategic products introduced that's ordered within the first six months. So objectives, very precise, you have to write them down but in the overall context of the goal, which describes in broad terms what you're trying to achieve. Um, it may be an iterative process. Once we set some, some future state, when we come to look at how we get there, we may discover that our goals and objectives are too stretching, in which case we have to modify them. We may find that they're not stretching enough, so we would do something about that as well. But without that set of direction, then we're not doing real account planning. You know, there are salespeople and, quotes account managers out there who will say things like, well, let's try this approach and see where it takes us. That is not real account planning. You know, that's maybe doing some good things, but it's not taking control of the situation, you deciding where you want to be, and then figuring out how you're going to get there, which will be the topic of the next of these short video tutorials. I hope that this short video tutorial has been useful. Uh, the next one is around strategy and tactics and part of a series that you can get through either the YouTube channel or going to realaccountplanning.com.